Wouldn't it be great if surgeries could be done with no incision at all? That is exactly what researchers at the University of Michigan have achieved using sound as an acoustic scalpel. This process is called histotripsy. The intensity of sound waves impacting tissue determines the type of bioeffects seen. At low intensity, no damaging tissue effects occur. Ultrasound imaging is an example of this. At higher intensity, achieved by focusing the sound waves, heating of the targeted tissue can occur. At very high intensities, the focused sound is energetic enough to break down or shear cells. This process is called cavitation. Until recently, cavitation has been viewed negatively because it was viewed as a largely uncontrollable phenomenon. As a result, focused ultrasound research was primarily directed towards achieving thermal effects to destroy benign and malignant tumors. Doctors Kane and Falks spent years studying cavitation and developed methods of controlling this powerful process. Controlled use of cavitation is called histotripsy and is being developed as a non-invasive surgical tool. Cavitation was seen as a problematic issue in ultrasound uh, therapy because you would get what would be termed the popcorn effect. And so cavitation then would be uh, something that was to be avoided. And we wondered whether or not you could actually change that around and actually take advantage of cavitation. Could you make it controllable, manageable, at a level then that would change the way that ultrasound is actually used for therapy? This video shows histotripsy's acoustic scalpels at work. As you look closely, you will see what appear to be small bubbles percolating in the tissue. Within one minute, a dark surgical cavity begins to appear and becomes larger and more clearly defined with time. These images show before and after pictures of the tissue effects of histotripsy. The dark region in the after image clearly shows the acellular void that histotripsy has carved out. This side-by-side -side comparison of untreated and treated excised prostates nicely shows the post-surgical effects of histotripsy in the prostate. The treated region is an acoustically excised cavity that is completely devoid of tissue. The histotripsy action broke the cellular tissue down and converted it into an acellular slurry. This acellular mass was then eliminated through the urinary channel. This second image shows a highly magnified border between treated and untreated tissues. Notice how sharp this border is. Unlike open surgery or minimally invasive surgery, where healthy tissues immediately surrounding a tumor bed are typically damaged, histotripsy creates sharp, controlled borders between treated and untreated tissues. This animation demonstrates how histotripsy works clinically. This represents an abdominal cross-section view of a patient with liver disease. The liver, target, histotripsy device, and imaging probe are shown here. The imaging probe can be placed intracavity or it can be integrated into the center of the histotripsy system. The surgeon begins by positioning the histotripsy device and aligning the focus with the target. Ultrasound energy is then delivered to produce cavitation, which acts as an acoustic scalpel to sculpt the targeted zone. The entire process is monitored with real-time imaging feedback. These are the major highlights of histotripsy. It is non-invasive, which means it is externally applied and there is no incision for the patient. The process of cavitation leaves behind a liquid acellular slurry that can be absorbed or eliminated by the body. It is very precise and its effects do not spill over into healthy surrounding tissue. Lastly, cavitation can be seen with ultrasound imaging so the surgeon knows exactly where he or she is treating and can track surgical progress throughout the procedure. Surgeons of many different specialties have expressed interest in exploring histotripsy as a surgical tool for their specialty. These include urologists, general surgeons, interventional cardiologists, cardiovascular surgeons, and neurosurgeons. With histotripsy, the, the cells are broken up immediately and liquefied, and so that the destruction is immediate. And then it's just a matter of that liquid either being reabsorbed by the body or actually passing through the urethra, as could be done with the, the prostate. So it's a fundamentally different approach 
that avoids most of the limitations of current ablative technology where the tissue might be killed but it's not removed. I've been a cancer surgeon for over 30 years. Um, this is uh, unquestionably the most provocative type of technology I've seen in the treatment of uh, soft tissue uh, types of uh, cancers.